Now that you've learned how to use variables, we can kind of go back to remoting, which is something we talked about in chapter 10. And instead of having remoting bring up a new connection, use it, and automatically tear it down, we can create a reusable connection that remoting can use over and over and over. It's called a session. So let's look at the help for new PS session. You'll see that this creates a persistent connection to a remote computer. You specify the computer name, and you can also specify options such as the authentication mechanism, uh, alternate credentials, an alternate TCP port, um, whether or not you want it to use SSL, and, and all these other things. So let's just do a real simple one here and say that session equals new PS session. And we'll give it the computer name server R2. Now I have a session. If I look at the contents of the session variable, you can see it's got some details about the session, including the fact that it's opened. Now if I want to enter that and interact with that remote machine, instead of providing a computer name, I'll provide that session. So now I can do whatever I need, run directory, get a list of processes on that machine. When I'm finished, exit PS session. However, back here on my computer, that session is still active and open, so I can use it for other purposes. It's also possible to create multiple sessions. So let's actually take session and pipe it to remove PS session. That'll close the session. If I were to close PowerShell, that would also close the session. So it's, it's completely safe to do that. Now let's set sessions equal to new PS session and give it multiple computer names to work with. We'll do server-r2 as well as localhost. You could line up as many computer names as you wanted. Now that dollar sign sessions variable has got an array or collection. I can get to just an individual one of those by using the square bracket syntax. And that means I could choose to enter PS session dash session dollar sign sessions and just give it the index of the one that I want to enter. And then I would enter that PS session. So you can work with these in, in singles or in batches or anything else you like. Uh, and if you've got a profile script, you can even have your profile automatically create these sessions every time you launch the shell. If there's, let's say, a, a set of computers that you frequently need to remote into. That way the connection is all up and running every time you have a new shell session.